Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech, but it's otherwise known as your friendly neighborhood basement dweller. Don't worry, ma'am, I am from the internet. And being from the internet and living off computers, I can tell you how to take care of computers, particularly laptops, when they just don't want to turn on anymore. It happens a lot to almost every type of laptop. And it sucks when you get your laptop, you turn it on, and it doesn't turn on. So here, I'm going to give you the step-by-step -step of what you can do if you have an HP laptop that just refuses to turn on for you. So here we go. We got a test computer pulled from the bench and uh, first thing we got to do if we want to get this thing running, if it won't turn on, take the power out. Take the power out. The next thing you do is you take out the battery. Now you'll have to forgive me because this unit's been stripped a little bit. And uh, so normally you'll have a battery pack right here and this will all be black. Don't even worry. Don't even look at that. And for me to get that battery out, all I had to do was move some pins in this way and you can see the catches where it would release the battery and you'd be able to take it out. Not all laptops have batteries that you can take out. If you don't see a battery at the back of the unit, the back top middle, then don't even worry about it. Skip this test but definitely pull the power wait until the power goes dead wait about 30 seconds at least in the situation where you have the battery and you've removed it pull the power pull the power battery wait 30 seconds and then plug it all in and try one more time see if it works once you plug it back in so if that trick doesn't work let's say that you have tried that trick you have pulled the power the power is out the next step is you press and you hold that power button for about uh, 20 seconds. And after you're done holding that for 20 seconds, you try it once again. And then you plug it back in and you try it once again. Now in this case, this thing is actually going to start up because uh, I did manage to fix it after the fact. I think. <laughs> Anyways, if those tricks don't work for you, and there's two other things that you can try. Now, if those previous attempts don't work, then we have to get a little more dire. So we're going to hit the Windows button. That's the button right next to Alt and the B button. We're going to press and hold that. And then we are going to turn the system on and it should start making some noises. Here we go, system uh, systems diagnostic. Now this trick doesn't always work so beautifully the first time you try it. It doesn't always uh, work so quickly. Sometimes you'll have to press these buttons together, you'll hear a beep, and then you have to wait for up to two and a half or three minutes uh, before the computer will actually turn on. So be patient. And from here, you can actually just tell it to uh, run as normal. You can try a startup test, but that's a way to reset the HP BIOS. Now what the BIOS is, is a chip on the inside that tells the computer how to load absolutely everything. If that doesn't work, then you're gonna have to get someone that really knows their stuff for this last test. And the last test is to basically get in here and find the final battery, the final boss of this repair strategy. And uh, it could be really difficult. You might have to look up for a true teardown of your system because there's going to be a battery. It's going to be about the size of a quarter. It's going to be hanging out in here everywhere. And you're going to have to unplug that battery, leave it down for 30 seconds and plug it back in in order to totally reset the BIOS. If these things don't work, then you got to take it into a good, reputable computer store. And I definitely recommend you take a look at Google Maps because they generally give you good reviews on the good people, the good repair people. Anyways, those are your options. If your HP system won't start up, first off, unplug the or take the battery out, unplug the unit, leave it for about 30 seconds, turn it back on and see if it will work. If that doesn't work, press and hold the power button for 20 seconds and then turn it back on again. If that doesn't work, try the Windows B button with the power. If that doesn't work, then um, you definitely have to take it into a PC repair shop. All right, folks, so those are your options. If this worked for you, please leave a comment saying exactly which trick worked for you. If it didn't, also feel free to let me know and let me know what model uh, of laptop you're using because that'll help me help other people figure out how to get these things on. It's definitely universally stressful when you need a laptop to work. Usually when this happens is uh, when you absolutely need it to work and it doesn't. That's just how she goes. That's just Murphy's Law. That's just how computers work, right? Anyways, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, 
that's it for me. I'm Nat from Nat's Tech, but like and subscribe if I've helped you out. I really appreciate it. And as always, folks, take care of each other, right? Catch you later.